over after a breakup or divorce can be scary, but our next guest can help you get through it. Sarah Davison, a.k.a. The Divorce Coach, shares her advice and her strategies in the bestseller, Uncoupling, How to Survive and Thrive After Breakup and Divorce. And Sarah joins us right here in our studio all the way from the UK. Yes. Yay. And welcome to <laughs> Tampa. Thank you so much for having me. This is very exciting. Thank you, Sarah. Congratulations on the book and its success. I think one of the most important things is that people can tell that you're writing from a place of knowledge and experience. This is something that you went through and you came out on the other side equipped to help others, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I avoided all the ugly crying on the bathroom floor. <laughs> I did my fair share of that and the pain and the heartache, the devastation. And I think that's why I decided to, to help others because it was so traumatic. And not a lot of people know that it's actually known as the second most traumatic life experience we go through after death of a loved one. Mm. And I certainly hadn't even thought about it because I didn't see it coming. So it hit me like a, a freight train and I was left absolutely reading because my son was only one. Oh. And overnight, I discovered my ex had moved on. He'd met somebody else, was madly in love. And I lost, the, well, the father of my son, who I thought was my best friend. And we also worked together. So I think when you're that closely knit, suddenly everything was up in the air. And I was literally on my knees sobbing for a long time until I thought, right, <laughs> It can't go on like this. I have a choice. I either carry on like this, which isn't good for my son, who's, as I said, one at the time, or I pick myself back up and I try and move forward. So that's what I did. And I tried and tested lots of different tools, which is what I share in Uncoupling, um, because I've been coaching for 15 years at that point. So, yeah, that's why I, I wrote the book and it became a bestseller. And then, yeah, I haven't looked back. That's amazing that you were able to pull yourself back up so quickly uh, in, in doing all of this. I feel like it's easy to turn to just the social dating apps and people just yeah. fling themselves right back into, you know, the rebound relationship. What What's your advice on that? Well, you're so right. Spot on. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. In fact, my clients tend to have two criteria for a new partner after a breakup. The first one is they have a pulse. <laughs> and the, second, <laughs> the bar's not that high. <laughs> the bar's not high at all. And then the second one is they get one sign of affection. And then they go into what I call limpet mode, where they sort of sucker themselves to this poor person. Because, of course, the biggest fear is being alone and never being loved again. And I think that's very real and very understandable. And, and we all feel like that after a breakup, especially if your confidence is super low. So I think it's very normal. But the dating apps then come in. Now, they definitely have a role to play. I'm a, I'm a big <laughs> fan of building your confidence through dating apps, but there's definitely a, a bit of work we have to do first. So you ourselves. support the swipe. I support the swipe. But it serves its purpose, right? <laughs> yeah. After you've done a bit of groundwork on yourself, I think that's really important. And the book can help us do that. You identify five stages that people go through uh, when divorce is happening, and you help kind of give advice for each one. So let's show them and talk about the first stage, which is what? Which is, I have them written down here. Should I leave my marriage? Yes. I mean, as I said, it's a very traumatic thing to go through divorce. So it's definitely not something to be rushed into. And definitely it's, it's a good time to take some time out and, and work out what you want. And if you can save your marriage, I think it's really important first. But ultimately, if you are struggling, if you're not happy, then, you know, life is too short to stay in an unhealthy relationship. Although way too many people stay for the kids. That's mm. what I get told a lot. And actually kids learning what marriage is and what love is through an unhealthy relationship isn't setting them good values. So that's it's a disservice. Yeah. It is. So that leads us to step number two. How do you cope in the early stages of the separation? Well, there's definitely a lot of crying and to know that that's okay. And I think it's really important because we have to process the end of that relationship. It is like a bereavement because you are grieving the end of that relationship with someone who was so close to you and now they're no longer going to be there. So knowing that it's okay to cry and you have to go through that if you stuff your emotions down, as I call it, you're just going to drag that forward into future relationships. And that's not going to be healthy either. So first of all, to look after yourself. I think self-care is really important. And that could be simple, like, you know, going for a walk or taking a bath or spending time with people who, who care about you but not the best friends who will come around and chop up the clothes, mm -hmm. put them into bin bags. And yeah. I mean, not that kind of friend, but the oh. friends that are going to help you emotionally to feel good about yourself. The next three stages in our last 30 seconds deal with moving forward after the divorce, kind of finding yourself again. What's your best advice regarding that? Just to know that you can take your power back and you can redesign your life just the way you want it. So that's going to be super important just to bear that in mind, because if you step up, you can go on and be happier. 
I love that. You are right. proof. Yes. yes. <laughs> Sarah Davison, thank you so much for being here with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And the book is Uncoupling. Once again, look for it and you can get more information at sarahdavison.com.